थैंक यू आई एम योर जस्ट एक को वर्कर इन गवर्नमेंट फॉर हिओलन तो इन लहर नगतरबाह पर बाया नातिन सो आई एड लाइक टू मेक द एक्नोलेजमेंट सेक्रेटरी डेलफिन लोरेंसाना सेक्रेटरी हिरमोहन स्पेरॉन लोतेनाथ जनरल एडवर्डो अन्यो एंड द मेजर सर्विस कमांडर्स पुलिस डायरेक्टर जनरल रोनाल्ड ला रोसा ओवर दिस ऑफ द फर्स्ट पी आर आर डी फेलोशिप गोफ टूर्नामेंट फेलो वर्कर्स इन गवर्नमेंट माय बिलवेड कंट्रीमैन एस आई हैव सेड मे बी यू डू वांट टू विजिट द बाओ इफ थिंग गोस वेल विद आवर कंट्री एंड आई होप इट विल आई विल प्रे फॉर इट पर द मशादो मगलो द कमिंग इयर्स एंड द कमिंग डेज इन आवर लाइफ्स Uh, we think of our families and our children. That is the very thing that bugs us whenever we go out to work. Then on, uh, it's uh, always uh, the family. And uh, as I've said, uh, if there's anything that you cannot solve by yourself and cannot be solved by the command, you can go direct to me. Uh, that is the same. Uh, Mm, the statement that I made, especially sa uh, mga wounded personnel, uh, I will uh, give them a party. Lahat lalo na yung disabled, maybe uh, towards the uh, uh, end of the month. I'm so busy, but they will also have my my salute for being there in such a state and for fighting for the country. I'd like to make the rounds, or I'd invite them all uh, for a dinner, just the last time. And on uh, Sabalor, I was able to wrangle something like 75, that's a boom. Increase of 75,000. From 25 to 75. Uh, <clears throat> Iyon ang request ni General Ortiz, and I told the budget to please find money. And we had to, uh, to scrape the bottom of the barrel, actually. I released uh, one billion to those people holding mga resita ngayon na walang mabibili. Marami dito sa ating kababayan magkasakit na may resita ang doktor no? and they cannot buy it. So for this month, and hopefully every month, I will release one billion for those who cannot afford hospitalization or my mga maintenance. Ah, yung, yung sa gobyerno, madali lang. Sa inyo, you can just can bol, bol, bol. I, I would have enough funds, really. If, uh, huwag lang gastusin na uh, iwaldas. Uh, and I also uh, released one billion to the drug uh, uh, addicts who would need the medications. Usually, the tranquilizer and everything, it's quite expensive. But since I do not have as yet the rehab centers, because wala akong budget niyan, that was I was really grossly appalled upon my assumption to the presidency. And uh, we started to squeeze the, the community. And uh, to my horror, found out there were thousands, hundreds of thousands uh, surrendering. And uh, until now, I am nearing the count of one million again. Ito yung sa akin. Iba yung kay General Santiago, yung panahon niya sa PDEA. It's said La Peña now, there at the helm. And uh, he gave me the figure of 900-something. I am sure, but... Before the end of the month, I would have breached the million mark again. Uh, we have to fight drugs. The single threat, actually, aside from the armed, uh, and the surgeons and all, the lawless elements, uh, the single singular thing that can really bring, pull us down, this drug, considering the, f the four million addicts. 
and they are spread all throughout the country. Kaya uh, ayaw ko mang ipakita pero you have to know. Nap napakita, alam ko na bigay ko na sa ito. Eh. But uh, kung dumuso dun. Just to give you a visual problem ng bayan natin. This represents the drug industry in our country. Alam mo, little did we realize. Thank you. Puro pangalan niyan, listahan niyan. Ang dyan, barangay captains, pati kagawad. Municipal mayor. Mayroon niya mga polis. As a single threat of one. Talagang it will pull us down. This four million would spread, spread throughout the country. And uh, I'm very sad that, uh, it, I, I, I mean, I was mayor in Davao. I did not realize that Gandud uh, Kablala. But I was very strict. And some of you have been assigned to Davao. You know my character. I'm just one who has worked for government, from being a prosecutor. I'm just doing my work trying to preserve my country. That is all there is to it. Sabi ko nga, na itong away natin sa, I had a talk with the season last night, by the way. And I was talking about national liberation. Eh, kaya ko na yan. Yan ang pinakikinig ako sa kanya noon. Then he said something about this, something about that, the release of prisoners. So I am awaiting the ceasefire agreement. Bring me the ceasefire agreement and I will release. Puro dito itong matatanda na to. These are the prisoners of uh, yung mga NPAs now who have been there for 25, 30 years. And some of them are sick and maybe I will consider humanitarian ground. Uh, total, ang revised penal code, nagsabi naman 70 years old, you can petition to, to be out of prison. Uh, I hope it would hold Kasi ang hiningihi nila is uh, no, no more go... Hindi ba talaga? Alam mo niya talaga I cannot share power with him. He knows that. But we can have a consultation every now and then about itong Indo. Ayaw ko man rin yan. I mean, they kept on complaining about the Indo. The, the first one to raise a howl about the uh, Indo is ako. You know, government spends money sa test the training the Filipino young. Paglabas niya, no, graduate, maghanap ng trabaho, ang field of specialization niya, carpentry, plumbing, or whatever. But if he's employed as a plumber, then the next time he is out without the benefits. Yan ang mahirap. So he would never, because maybe this time he'll be a carpenter or cargador, and he would never acquire the skills that we have poured money into for him to learn. So even going out of the country for employment, it takes uh, three to five years experience. Eh, saan mo ilagay ang Pilipino niya? At sabihin mo, yeah, hindi ako okay, para da dapat lahat makatikim uh, ng trabaho. That's not the point. Kakargo na natin yan. We have to improve the economy. I have to improve the country. We are hitting almost uh, 7.9. The next is, uh, I think, Cambodia 7.6. Or even, we have overtaken China. But these are not the things that uh, we should be or inordinately proud of. Because nation building is continuing, because the population is growing. Ang problema nga dito sa Pilipinas, we have Brits also the million, 105 na tayo ngayon. And if we just keep on just uh, with these programs of government, we have to reduce the population. Family planning. I'm not talking about abortion. I'm talking about plan family planning. Ay ayaw ng simbahan eh. So we are in a bind. Uh, start something with a Janice exchange of boards and it becomes a heated one. Look, kapariho kami ni Ramos has been calling my attention, must have read it in the newspaper. Enforce the law 
so family planning. And I mean, I was in Davao, nagpa-family planning na talaga ako. I, I paid the woman, pag sabi ko, ilan ang anak mo? Sabi, anim pito ay anak lang. Sabi ko, maghanap ko ng trabaho, magpalaigit ka. I'll pay you, I'll pay the doctor, tapos bumalik ka dito. Just, just, you rest for two days. Talagang ina-enforce ko na. Marami akong sa drawer na pills. Binibigyan ko lahat doon, gamitin ninyo. But ang ano kasi is, uh, that is uh, also one of the things. I do not mean to offend the Christians here. That's a question of exacting obedience through fear. Maliit pa kasi tayo sinatantayan na ikaw, pag hindi ka sumunod sa pare, pupunta ka sa imperno. Kaya po, pagdating ng mga workers ko doon, sabi ko, bakit maraming bata dito? Kasi sabihin mo na siya na takot man silang punta ng imperno, sabi ng pare. Punta ng pare na. Sabi ko, mauna muna siya sa imperno. Hirap na tayo dito. Kaya ganun. So if you can just reduce the population to a manageable level, not, not for me. I'm here, I'm just a Manusia. I'm there, I'm passing by lang ako. As a matter of fact, I told the, the entire country, there is only one way we can reach an agreement in Mindanao. Believe me, I've been there. I grew up there. Alam mo, what is really happening there in Mindanao is nothing short of a Moro nationalism. Because they were their first. Pagdating na in Magellan, nandoon na sila. By almost 80 years, Islam took hold of Mindanao. Kaya hindi sila matalo-talo ng Espanyol, matatalo ng lumalaban talaga sa Amerikano, even if they were massacred. At hindi dati matatalo, hanggang ang bagayon, may poste. That's Islam. So it must, it, it must be very made clear to them this is nothing about religion. We know we are sorry for our forefathers. Kaya ako naman, uh, magindanawan ang nanay ko. But I, I'm sorry, but you know, ganito na ang sitwasyon. So you want to kill? So it has been 45 years. So you want to continue another killing for 45 years? Sabi ko sa kay Sison, sir, We've been fighting for almost 50 years. Do you want us to kill each other for another 50 years? Yan lang ba ang ano ko sa kanila? At pumayag siya mag-usap sa Give Doresa Bebot Belio. They're good guys. But I feel that uh, I, have, I have this feeling that he would uh, finally agree. Kasi pag-usapan namin kagabi, and if you were listening, Wala akong sinabi about arms. Sabi niya, maybe two years we can agree. So, sir, uh, the bottom line here is the welfare of the people of this country. No more, no less. Sabi ko sa kanila. So, I will try to work away. So, right, thank you. Basta ako dito, sir, uh, hanggang kapakanan lang ng bayan. And if you can, yeah, perfect ba ninyo? Sabi ko, yes. But the people of the Philippines must be convinced that we have to do away with this unitary type of government. We have to go federal, but that is the barest demand of the MI and MNO. Although Ms. Wari wants to talk independently of the rest, but uh, gusto na nila. We take our chance. Dapat sum gusto rin natin yan because historically even the, the lahat yung register of this one is the president who dapat bitawa na yung ironclad because this is actually an imperialist theory of government from the throne in Malacanian he controls everybody so ako sabi ko I will call for a commission next year and you can be sure, it will be the brightest of the Filipinos. Masiguro, I give you my word, it will be 
And if they have that product, we have choose between commission, uh, com uh, com uh, uh, constituent body conversion from one of uh, Congress to a constituent body to amend the Constitution or to call for a constitutional convention. But my God, we'll have to spend billions and billions again. The money is uh, better used for something else. Congress and general, my sweet don't know. I will not allow any allowances. But as I go, you want to be the one to say it. But you must follow what is re recommended by itong commission na ito. I'll appoint all the justices. Justice Panganiban, that's the justice Puno, and a host of other brilliant Filipinos on the side. Then, if you can craft, if we can vote a plebiscite towards the end or early the year after, and uh, uh, it will provide for a strong presidency. I'll give you my word, gentlemen, I will step down. I will step down because it will provide for a strong president. Wag ninyong gamitin yung parliamentary type. You know what happened to Britain? That's a very bad experience. When uh, the blue double-decker truck was blown in Midtown, Hirap sila makakuha ng consensus ko what to do. It was not because kasi pure parliament. The prime minister, in case of uh, like war, cannot just by himself. He has to consult the parliament. Mabuti talaga, buhay yung nandiyan. Eh, kung patay yung iba. They have to have a strong president. Very few powers, but powerful ones, to declare an election to dissolve a parliament, to be the commander-in-chief of all armed forces. And that will include the police, kasi armas, and the CAFGO, and lahat, basta holding armed forces, and uh, others that will help survive the nation. Ako, out na ako. My term is six years. If after three, the third year, from, on, the third, on the third year, I said, I'll give you my word. I will retire. You know, again, my, my mind is to fix the country. I promise you there will be no corruption. There will be no corruption. Everything will benefit from the government as a taxes. Lahat. Almost a billion, billion zila. I said, nine billion. One billion. And I was asking Role, I was thinking of releasing another one billion. Wala na, yun na talaga. Inescribe ko na. Para lang, lahat lang makakain ang tao. I'm just trying to find out a way of how to do it. Kasi kung, hindi maan mo. Yung iligay ko sa politiko talagang hindi magagawa. So I was thinking of just also requesting you to open your camps again. And uh, ako ang mag-provide ng pagkain. But do not cook. Delikado kasi yung contamination, yung luto-luto na overnight. You have to prepare the oven because everybody will be eating in the place. Ang problema yung contaminate sa food. So we're better off we just, uh, alam mo sa totoo lang, ang pinaka-price pagkain ng mga lumad, uh, alam niyo kung ano, budong, pati sardinas. Para sa kanila, yun yun sa ating bisaya na pansit. Pagpalit og pansit, eh, way way lamay ang sudan. Doon lang, ganun lang naman. Eh. And on, on, on sa centers, May sa police pati yung mga kampo, yung training center doon. Tignan ko lang, if I cannot do it, uh, I, I will have to depend on the, the advice of uh, the economic manager. Si Jokno, pati si finance secretary, pagkapera ng usapan, nagsismangot. Ngunit <laughs> ganun. Ay, ay, bigay natin lahat yan. But yan ang isa. That, that, that's the last. So wala na tayong pera. Zero balance ako. Pero yan ang kinukuha ko na saan yan. Just to make everybody happy. 
Ako noon sa bahay, nagpaparty ako. Thousands. Uh, uh, at uh, basta Pasko sa bahay ko noon, mulit. Um, bina. Uh, easily about 20-30,000. From the other places where I'm thinking of people who are really hard up. Uh, pero sa Dabao ako, every day, may lugaw sa plaza. So kung yung walang saan sa ap, makakain talaga. Kasi every day may lugaw kami. So, uh, pagka yung iba, you, it's, it's just a cauldron, you buy Lagyan mo lang ng mga manok dyan o karne norte, tapos ihalo mo sa... At least there's protein and carbo. That's my worry also. Yung kawawang tao. At dito may pera man talaga. May party nga kami. Bukas ba yung party na rin? Mm -hmm. You're all invited if you want to... Ano man ulam natin loon? Pangit. You know, hindi mo ako, hindi niya ako kilala. Hindi ako pwede maraming pagkain, ilagay mo dyan. Kasi in, even in Malacanian, you ask them. No, no, no. Baski sinong bisita ko, it's one viand soup and rice. Baski yung, baski sino? Si ambasador, sabi ko, yan, yan lang ang makain mo. Sabi ko siya, One soup. Ito to. One soup. Pati dyan sa bahay ko. Eh, hindi naman ang papukorn. It's not about hypocrisy. It's just about the practical uh, common sense that uh, cannot be holding lavish parties. Kung may nakikater, oh fine. No problem. Kung sabihin mo ng kasas, nahiya kasi ako sa tao. Totoo lang. And I am being, I'm, I'm in this kind of, um, because uh, I've been mayor for 23 years. It's always, I know that uh, we can use it, but uh, fortunately it's not our money. <laughs> so you have to be very careful about it. So that's, uh, I, I hope we'll have a Christmas time. I am talking to the camera. What do you want? Tanungin nyo muna si Delvin, pati yung matanda ninyong dumaan ng Mindanao. I'm, I'm a politician. I have to talk. But, uh, well, my rift with the, the United States. Huwag kayong do not worry about I will not sell this Philippines to Russia. And, uh, honestly, in fairness to Xi Jinping, and we never talk about military alliance. There are a lot, a lot of you know, no one si Dilpino no gusap kami. It's just about aid and trade and commerce. Because wala tayo, we have no corridor there. Eh. Naiipit talaga tayo pag uh, binatawan tayo ng Amerika. Delikado. Ang problema sa kanila. I know that mo most of you went there. As a matter of fact, mga lahat ng kapatid ko, itong aral doon, and my, my daughter is an American. But there are times when they overstep the boundaries of dignity. Ayan pang, mayroon kang hingiin. O hindi mo nagustuhan. At bigla ka na lang mag-announce. E, alam nila. I'm sure alam nila the four million. Four million is no joke. It is a gargantuan problem to solve. Ayan, ang problema, dumating ang, sa panahon po. But when I was mayor, when I'm, I am operating on a budget that was prepared by my predecessor, which was prepared the other year. And so I'm, oh, I'm operating, alam mo naman, hindi, walang politika, bottoms up. O di ano nangyari sa bottom shop? I was only left with a, itong na naiiwan na, sinesave ko lang. Marginalized talaga, kasi hindi ako magsabi, bakit niya pati patay, hindi dagyan na lang niya sa rehab. Wala nga akong rehab puno eh. Mabutit na lang yung in-check na mga, ng ano ng buhay niya. He went there, built a 10,000 facility. He came to, Shake hands with me in Malacan, said, I'll build. 
After finishing it, she went back to Malacanian, shook my hand, and went away. Walang, walang sa, ano mo yun o. Kaya kung wala yun, wala akong madalhan. Pero kung ayun, makilala ninyo, all you have to do is, especially mga bata, involuntary confinement, hindi prisoner. Just an affidavit. Because nobody but nobody can deprive of any person of his liberty. Only the orders of the court. So if the court orders his confinement, okay. hindi dalhin ninyo noon kasi next year may pera na ako. Mag-reserva talaga ako. Sino ba magagawa ako? Sino galit ako? Hindi, hindi madali magpatay ng tao. But you know, I, I told uh, everybody there last night, yung mga, yung mga ambasador, no? nandoon yung Amerikano. He's Korean. You belittle the four million sick and suffering Filipinos in favor of the lives of just what five thousand son. So and then you publicly cry, you cry for blood. Itong sa police sa Alvera. Of course, I will believe the police. Even if it is not true, I will believe the police and you, the military guys. Kasi ba kasama tayo sa gobyerno? Ako yung commander-in-chief. So kung sabihin ko sa inyo ang nangyari, yun na yun para sa akin. Now, if I really wanted to fix the case, the Justice Department is under me. Tingnan ang labas nila. It was a robot. So we faced the music. Darawang commissioner, Brad ko pa. Niyari ako talaga. Wala ko lang, it's, it's, hindi ato atin, eh, tao to. Ang public interest says that I should support the police and I should believe them. Now you have a story there, it'll prove it to the court. Kasi ano sabihin ng taga-gobyerno, yun, ano yung trabaho mo, di, tatawang ko anong totoo, anong alang, magsususpit siya pa ako sa iyo. And even if it is true, sinabi ko sa mga ambasador, you worry about one Son of a bitch. Tapos dito, four million. Saan ang sense of ano mo? Itong four million na to, practically those who are already dead because their brain has shrunk, which is the result of constant use of Cebu. I really don't know how many of them are insane. Because if their brains are shrunk, rehab is no longer possible. That's what the Americans told us. Forensics nila. So alam nila ang problema. And you nitpick. And reprimand me publicly. Nagninitpick ka. You are trivializing. Minamaliit mo yung problema kung kababayan na tangina ninyo, 4 million. You belittle it with the favor of itong mga ulol na to. Ayan mo silang mamatay. Ayan ang gusto nila. Uh, Ebon din. So bakit ko isakripisyo po? Kasi sabi ko, if it is in accordance to my order to destroy, I did not say conduct a police investigation. Destroy the apparatus. Because if you kill a drug lord, there are plenty of them and he can take over the structure of that field of operation. You have to destroy to the last man. And that is why I said, if you do that in accordance with law and the performance of jurisdiction, sagot ko talaga kayo. The ultimate guy, if there is a guilty guy there, it's me. Hayaan na lang ninyo ako. Maybe I'll rat in prison, so? Eh, kung sabihin nila assassin, sir. Then that is part of my destiny. That God destined me to be president. But after uh, three, two years, I'm assassinated or ousted. So be it. That is part of the mandate of from God. Gawain kita ang presidente ito hanggang ka lang dito. So, ganyan ako. I'm so fatalistic about it. So, ito, I, I, I do not worry about yung impeach-impeach ng Congress. Go ahead. 
But let it not be said, and I'd like to place it, uh, say it to you in front of you. You will never oust me because of corruption. You can never ask for my head because of a fucking malversation. It would really be because I love my country, and I'm desperate to find the ways to end the problem. That's about it. Maraming salamat.